What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to do a review over the Elite Active 75Ts and the Elite 75Ts. I'm going to tell you what's the difference and then I'm going to give you my pros and cons. And finally, I'm going to tell you if it's worth buying. All right guys, so Jabra did send me over these headphones over for review, but we have no prior agreement where I do a positive negative review. It's my own thoughts on this product. And they won't get a chance to preview the video before it gets released on YouTube. They'll be watching it for the first time, just like you guys are. So let's talk about these headphones. These are truly wireless earbuds. I reviewed the 65Ts last year, and today I'm doing the review on these two. So if you look at them, these pretty much look like the same exact headphones. Right there, this is the copper colorway. And then this is gonna be the silver and black colorways. So right now at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna tell you what's the difference between these two headphones. And that's gonna be the toughness of these headphones, starting with the case. So you can see the case here is a little bit more rubbery. So you can see there's a little bit of a rubber texture. You can feel it over here. This is just plain plastic without the rubber coating. So that transfers also onto the headphones. The headphones for the Elite 75Ts do not have a rubber coating. They're just plain plastic. And then if you go to the Elite Active 75Ts, they do have that little rubber coating on them. So it's a little bit more premium of feel. And the next thing that they talk about that differentiates these two earbuds is the waterproofness of it. So the Elite Actives are IP57 and the Elites are IP55. So what's the difference in those ratings? Well, IP57 means that it is dust proof and this will also be able to be immersed in water for maybe 30 minutes. So it's more waterproof. And this one is gonna be dust proof and then it's also gonna be able to just shoot a water stream at it. So it'll be able to handle light rain showers or a sweaty run, but maybe not too sweaty. So definitely if you are looking for a more sportier headphones, you'll probably want to look to the Elite Active 75Ts. So the last thing is the price, of course, and Elite Actives are $199, and these were $179, but these are now like $145, $149. You'll find these on Amazon or Best Buy or wherever. These are definitely a lot cheaper. So basically that's the difference. It's gonna be the waterproofness of it and also the little texture coating on here. But other than that, these are exact same headphones, same sound driver, same everything. So let's take a look at the Elite Active 75Ts. I'm just gonna review these from now on so I don't have to keep on you know, switching hands. So if you look Look at them right there you'll see that this is the case like i talked about before this is a nice looking case uh, before i think the case stood down like this so this one could actually stand up and you can open it like that and then you take these out and this is the copper and black colorway this is really nice. This is also actually magnetic. So this is magnetic right here. Before it was not magnetic. And then these earbuds are also magnetic to the case too. So you just simply put them in and they will be magnetic like that. So they'll just click in pretty easily like that. So let's take them out of the case and we'll take a look at them. So if you take a look at them right here, it has a nice copper colorway. It does have that little textured rubber coating over it. And you know what, these are really small. These are smaller than the ones that they had before. The other ones were a little bit bulky and big, but these are a lot smaller. They're really low profile. You can see that you can't really see them in my ear whenever they are on. So that's one good thing that I like about them. They're very low profile. For me, I put the largest earbud on them. That's just the one that I like that fit in my ear, but they do have two other ones, like a medium size and a smaller size that you guys may like. Uh, one thing that I do have to say about this one is that it does not have a fin. Uh, some other earbuds, they do have a fin so that when you twist it, it'll go into the groove of your ear, but this one does not have that. It's solely depending on the fitment of the earbud to stick in your ear. So, uh, you know, for most use, it's not that bad. But for me, whenever I was jumping rope, you could feel that it gets looser and looser. You just have to tap it a little bit in order for it to stay in there. But it wasn't the most secure fit. For running was fine, but definitely jumping rope, there was a little bit of fitment issue because it did bounce around a little bit in my ear. And actually it fell off one time. So it is very secure, but while jumping rope, maybe not the most secure. So yeah, I do like the look of these earbuds. They are nice, especially that copper colorway. Really nice. So. There you have it. All right, so these do have Bluetooth 5.0. Bluetooth 5.0 is the latest and greatest Bluetooth. That means that before, if you have Bluetooth you know, 4 or 3, you would have connectivity issues with your headphones, but these do not. They have a great connection with your phone. I use the Android phone and they work great. Uh, I do every once in a while hear a click, maybe every 20 minutes, so that could get annoying. But other than that, the connection is pretty good. I will hear a click or a skip, 
so uh, that's one thing to be noted. So the battery life on these are seven and a half hours. You know, generally when you're using these headphones, you want to keep them in the case so that they stay charged because if they're not in the case or not secured in the case, you will lose them. Trust me, I've lost them a bunch of times. So uh, I've been having to search around my house for them. While they do have a feature where you can find the earbuds on your app, uh, it's not the greatest. It'll tell you the general area that it's at. So if you lost it in your house, you'll know that it's in your, the general area. It could be outside, it could be inside. You'll know that that's where it's at, but you won't know exactly where it is. I wish they had an audible beep on them so you can find them easier. Uh, that would be great for maybe, you know, the next upgrade of these headphones. But like I said, these do last seven and a half hours. And if you put them back in the case, you know, after you're using them and charge them and put them back on, they'll last you about 28 hours. The one thing about these earbuds is that if you want to use one at a time, you can only use the right one. So if you put the right one in, you could use that and it will play your music. But if you want to use the left one, you can't use that without using the right one because uh, the right one is the master and they call the left one the slave. So basically you need this one in order for this one to work. So if you lose the left earbud, you could potentially be fine and just use the right earbud. But if you lose the right earbud, you know, you can't listen to the left earbud whatsoever because they won't connect to your phone. And you won't be able to listen to anything if you don't have the right one. So that's one thing to consider. Another good thing about the charging that is if you put these back in the charger for about 15 minutes, you'll be able to listen to your music for additional one hour. So it does have that quick charge where you could just put it in there real quick for 15 minutes and it'll have power to listen to your music for about an hour. And a lot of earbuds that I had had that feature and I really enjoyed it just in case you ever used up all the battery in your earbuds. All right. Another feature that these have is the hear through modes. So if you have these on, they do provide pretty good noise canceling. It won't be active noise canceling. It will be passive noise canceling uh, due to the fitment of your earbuds. If you have a really good fit, you won't be able to hear much, especially if your music is on, but it does have hear through mode. So if you are running, if you're a runner and you're trying to run and want to hear your surroundings, uh, the good thing about these headphones is that it has that active mode so that you can hear your surroundings. Uh, for me, uh, you do have to listen to your music quite low, maybe uh, 30 to 50% in order to hear your surroundings. Because if these earbuds are up high, you're not gonna be able to hear your surroundings very well, even if you have that passive hear through activated. And the way that you activate the passive hear through is by simply tapping the buttons. So once you tap it, you'll hear your earbuds tell you that hear through is off or on. So that's a really simple way to do that. And speaking of the buttons, the buttons are super sensitive. They're a lot more sensitive than any other earbuds that I've used before, which is a good thing because you don't have to press it too hard and the earbuds dig deeper into your ear canal. It's a really light touch, but it also is really sensitive that if you do end up touching your earbuds to adjust the fitment of the earbuds, it'll activate the hear through or pause your music so there is that another feature that these earbuds have is the auto pause so if you take off one earbud it will pause the music and when you put it back on it'll play the music again so that's a cool feature say you're at the gym you want to talk to somebody even though it has here through you can just simply take it off and then it will pause the music and just put it back on to play the music again. So let's talk about the sound of these earbuds. They are earbuds. That's the most important feature of them is how do they sound? So for me, if you like bass, these earbuds are the earbuds for you because they are super bassy. They are a lot more bassy than Elite Active 65Ts last year's version. Uh, these are really bass heavy. Even if you set the EQ to the lowest level, they'll be more bassier than other headphones. So if you are a bass head, these are the headphones you should get. Uh, for me, that's what I like. I like to get lost in music and part of getting lost in music is hearing that bass, you know, hearing that beat and getting lost in that beat. But you could definitely change the EQ settings on your phone. You have to go to the app and go to the Jobber app. So if you go to the Jobber app, you call it Jobber Sound, you will have your equalizer. And you can see right here, I set mine to a high bass, a lower mid, and then the higher treble so I can hear the lyrics. Uh, but you can definitely set it to different things. It has the My Moments feature. My Moments is basically your personal EQ. So what it does is it'll basically give you a hearing test where it beeps on the right one and then the left one, and you'll tell it when you can hear it. And it's about a you know a five minute little test, and it'll set your own equalizer. And for me, you can see that I have my My Moments, and it has it very bassy. I actually think I set it for a more bassy because you could definitely change the bass over here. So I made it more bassy. But it also has different modes like the commute mode where everything is set to default, and then you have the focus mode where again, everything can be set to default, but also you won't have pass-through modes. Because I think commute mode will actually sit, turn on the hair through, and then focus will turn out the hair through. You have the music presets, you have the bass boost, the smooth, It'll change everything as a speech mode. So it'll change it to you want. I like mine bassy, so uh, that's what I keep mine at. 
And then it also has soundscapes. Soundscapes is for when you want to meditate or concentrate a little bit better. It'll have like different noises, pink noise, white noise, fans, ocean, all that fun stuff, the crowds. So you can have all that on there. But yeah, for sure, if you want bass, these will definitely give you a super bass. And I think that the levels are plenty loud. Sometimes you get earbuds and they're not loud enough. These for me get loud enough. And I have no complaints about it being too loud, especially with the bass being so bassy in my head. So yeah, these are the Jabra Elite Active 75 T's and the Jabra Elite 75 T's. Good headphones. Uh, let me tell you my pros and cons. So my pros are going to be definitely the bass. If you are a bass head, these are some headphones that you're gonna to wanna to get. I wanna say these are the most basiest earbuds that I've got, especially Bluetooth earbuds. These blow the competitors out of the way if you want bass. These are really bass heavy. Another thing that I like about them is the form factor. I like that it is small in the ear. You can barely see it when it's on. Very nice like that. So I love the form factor. Another thing that I like is the colorway. I like the colorway. I like especially this copper and black colorway. Really good looking. Uh, the case is good, but I do have to say that this case is not working. This case works for me, but it could be my fault. I think what it is is that I accidentally put my phone charger on this case, which they say not to do, and this case isn't working right now. So I did email them to see if they would replace it, but uh, this case does not charge my phone. It only charges it if I have the USB-C plugged into it. So that's another thing. Another pro that I didn't talk about is the USB-C. I like USB-C because some headphones don't have USB-C attached to them. This charges via USB-C, so that's a good thing. Very future-proof, so USB-C, good job on adding that. Another pro on these headphones is the app. The Jobber app is good. I like the equalizer. I like the My Sound feature where it'll test your hearing and give you your own custom EQ settings. So that's a great feature also. So another kind that I have to talk about is the fitment. I don't think that it is the best fitting earbuds. I do wish it had the fin so it didn't feel like it's gonna fall out. They will stay in there, but once it gets out a little bit, it'll feel like it's gonna fall off. I wish that they had a fin that would actually keep it in there and make it more secure feeling when it's on. So those are my pros and cons. Uh, who are these headphones for? Like I said before, I think that if you want the Elite Active 75 T's, these are definitely for the runner of life or the athlete in your life that sweats a lot and is probably gonna use these in uh, raining conditions. If you want these, these could definitely handle a good amount of workouts, but maybe you don't wanna get too sweaty with these. These are still a good pair of headphones, especially being about $50 cheaper than these. So it's up to you. If you wanna be sure that your headphones won't break during a sweaty workout, definitely get the Elite Active 75 T's. All right, so in conclusion, I'm gonna give these headphones a go corner thumbs up i do like them the price point on this one is 199 dollars which is a little bit pricey but they are a good pair of headphones that sound great and it's comparable to all the other headphones out there i think the price point is right where it should be but if you want to value definitely these elite 75 t's are going to be a good choice for you too so yeah that's the review of the elite active and elite 75 t's hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give me a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time peace